Welcome back guys to another episode of Dying Light. In the last episode we ended burning ourselves with the Molotov cocktail. Does that kill him? It does. Where are you going? This day is over. <laughs> Nice, this guy's still dead from last. Ooh, that thing is nuts. Hold on, let's see our inventory here. Um, crude pick. Hold on, let me see. I think the military, military shovel is better than the cricket bat. Now there's just one guy left. They're all down. We can search all this stuff. We had a checkpoint at a very very good time, bros. What's this green thing? Oh. Anybody else in here? Jade, no luck with any antis in. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. What the basement? I don't want to go to the damn basement. Shit. Should have seen that shit coming. Come at me, bitch. Ha ha. Let me see if she can open doors. Man, this thing doesn't kill very well. Love knocking one back into another one. Pretty satisfying. Some bags you can search, other ones you can't. Shit. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Sometimes I feel like those ones that come flying out at you are just kind of meant to be distractions. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know what we want to repair. Let's see how these things... I just don't feel like the crude pick is really all that great. I feel like I'd rather... Rather repair this. Mm 
wants to come out and play. At the same time, I also feel like we shouldn't be using this. Let's use... What's these zombies are smokers? Gonna be going downstairs damn it we got the keys we got the keys i forgot oh my gosh get me out of here dude just get me out of this mess close the door behind us i don't want to deal with anything holy why did that scare me i have no clue why i got scared virals we know we're here they're below us You can see every time they blow up, it actually leaves a very... large sound blast that notifies all the zombies in the area. God, you are a sight for sore eyes. I love that ass. Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an old. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us. Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with the direct. Answers in. Holy shit. That's... Oh. Plastic explosives, right? Yeah, but isn't that Antis in the... Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. The I'll crates to the, the right and left of it? Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Why are you so stupid, Crane? Promise me you won't let Rahim near that hut. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Why are you so dumb? For reals, bro. Power level up, skill point acquired. Guys block so well. The hell out my face, how I'm gonna try not to use a lot of these if I can. Because Molotovs are really useful and get us get us out of sticky situations quite a bit, so if we can refrain from using them, that would be ideal. Sometimes it's just not an option. I thought we were gonna have to fight like a whole army or something. That wasn't so bad. Goodness gracious, golly gosh. Feels good to get back outside. I went looking for and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. Man, this game is getting intense, and I feel like it's only gonna keep getting worse. 
couple episodes ago when we had that scare with like those seven freaking super viral mutant nightmares after us. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. I don't even want to think about that again. Please tell me it's daytime. Just tell me it's daytime. Oh, so he can just climb everything. Shit. What time is it? I I don't think it's You said we needed to Oh, it is night time. options if we didn't find any answers in. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Night's over. Nice. Look at him running away. Little bitches, you better be scared of me. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny because I'm actually absolutely terrified of them. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. <laughs> Gonna save some of our, uh, our, what's it called? Our stamina. Uh, one thing I did have, um, somebody tell me down in the comments is that police cars, if you can find police cars, they often have some, we're stuck. There we go. They often have some really good stuff in them. So we may have to, to start checking out police cars and looking for police cars and stuff. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Why are you on fire? Bro, you need to put yourself out. <laughs> Take care of yourself, man. I know you're a zombie and all, but being on fire is not fun. No matter if you're undead or not. Look at us just getting our parkour skills up. This is what we need to do. Off episodes, I'm just going to run around and I'm going to... Randomly do all kinds of stuff. All right, let's see. Um, I think we have some skill points we haven't spent. Yeah, power and agility. So here we go. Combat adapt. You get better at fighting, gain more stamina, receive access to a new set of combat abilities. Yes, absolutely. Agility. What do we want next? Escape. When grabbed, you can shake off fighters more quickly. A uh, light drop reduces fall damage by half. Falling from great heights is still fatal. Uh, health regen. Drop kick. Ooh, knock down enemies with a running drop. Oh, that's not what I was thinking of. Leg breaker. I say we go with health regen. All right. Looking good. We're back in the tower. This feels good. Hold on, let's go talk to our quartermaster real quick. Short fisherman's knife, I will definitely take that. What do we want to get rid of? Ingestible wrench. And now, let's ride the elevator. I'll see you guys in the next episode.